Hi everyone, in this video we are going to learn about equity investment. So equity shares or equity investment represent ownership capital and its owners share the rewards and risk associated with the ownership of corporate enterprise. That means if you have the equity of a company, basically you own that portion of the company. Now, does it mean that all the business decisions will be taken by you since you are one of the owners? No, because you generally appoint boards of directors who take the business decisions or who appoint CEO or other top executives who take business decisions on behalf of you as an investor. But the return will ultimately you will be getting the return or reward and the risk is also associated with you and an equity investment is money invested in a company through the purchase of its shares it refers to the buying of shares in the stock of company traded on a stock exchange equity investors purchase shares in the expectations that they will there will be a rise in the value or in the form of capital gains and or generate capital dividends from the company it's very important to understand that as an investor of equity, basically you have got your stocks listed on secondary market, that is your stock exchanges. Due to demand and supply of a particular stock, the prices vary. Maybe you have invested 800 rupees today to buy that particular stock or equity. Tomorrow, the value of that investment can change from 800 rupees to 1000 rupees. This will be known as your capital appreciation. In case you are selling this equity for 1000 rupees in future, 200 rupees will be your capital gain. So that's the basic objective of any equity investor to invest on equity. First is your capital gain or capital appreciation depending on whether you are selling your investment or you are not selling your investment. And secondly is your dividend that is the return on your investment. Now, what's the benefit of equity investment? Increase in the value of the principal amount invested through capital gains and dividends, as we already discussed. Offers investors a diversified investment option for typically a minimum initial investment amount. So definitely when you are trying to invest in equity, there are a lot many sectors where you can invest. Hence, it offers you a diversified segment to invest into. Now, what are the risks associated with equity investment? Market risk impacts equity investments directly. The equity will rise or fall in value based on market forces, that is your demand and supply, leading to loss of some portion of investment due to market risk. But one thing you should not forget, that since there is risk involved in equity, there is better chances of better return in equity compared to any other investment. Second risk associated is other type of risk include credit, foreign currency, liquidity, political, economic, concentration and inflation among other. Now due to any reason in case your company for which you have invested goes bankrupt that makes that puts you to a very different kind of risk where there are high chances that you are losing your entire money. Now types of equity investments are basically through stocks and mutual funds. So you can, you can invest into equity either through stocks or mutual fund. 